Have you ever gone to an art gallery and seen a beautiful work of art and thought to yourself, I wonder how that sounds? Of course you haven't, because that's a stupid thing to think when you're looking at a piece of visual art, but I'm a stupid thinker. And I thought it'd be fun today to draw some artworks and see what they sound like. I bet you this one sounds a bit like, oh God, why is everything so dumb? Get it? Because Mona Lisa is, because she's moaning. Oh. <laughs> now I'm going to be using Chrome Music Lab. Let's start off really simple. Here we go, little smiley face. Let's see what this one sounds like. Not bad. <laughs> if you aren't experiencing the best sound in the world, it's because you're not listening to it on great headphones, which is why this video is not sponsored. But having a giveaway for you guys, because it's it's me loving you. These are still beats, and they're pretty good, but they're on wires. These beats are not wires, and they're bigger, far more expensive. And they're for you. Or at least they are for one subscriber who leaves a comment on this video. So leave a comment down below, make sure you're subscribed and then you're in the running to win this beautiful pair of wireless studio quality headphones. So we're gonna incrementally get a little more experimental. Let's uh, let's head into the Mario franchise because I think pixel art's the way to go. Starting off with one of these fellas. I'm just gonna use you to trace. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, I should mute this. I don't want to know what it sounds like until we experience it together. I won't fill in the middle of the mushroom thing, whatever you call them. Let's experience the simple version first. You ready? What's our buddy Mario sound like? That sounds pretty much the same as the other one. Okay, and then you can change your marimbula to piano or strings. We could create layered artworks, people. Let's try this with piano. I feel like we're reaching the end of uh, taking actual pixel artworks and see what they sound like. But what if we created visual artworks with the intent for it to turn into a song? I wonder how much complexity I can build up and actually have it look sort of cool and sound sort of cool. Oh, and there's Mike. What's Mike do? Hello? Uh, uh, okay, I'm a bit pitchy, but that's the mustache note. If you ever wondered what a mustache sounds like, hit it. First things first, can I have multiple windows of this that I can have different instruments on and play in harmony? All right, let's chuck in uh, some blocks. I guess the answer is yes. I've got my first idea. I'm gonna do a video game level. I'm gonna go along the visuals of the level, see if I can make a video game level that looks like a video game level and sounds like a video game level. All right, so here we have the start of our level. Let's call this a Mario pipe. And I feel like next to the pipe, we should have a tree. It's a good way to learn pixel art, by the way, guys. <laughs> Do you know what? That's not gonna sound good though, is it? Let's branch it out. Because every branch on an angle is a flourish of notes. I think all we need is a main character to see what this level sounds like. Let's do like a, a teeny version of Mario. It looks more like a penguin. Oh my God. This is amazing. Is it just me or does that feel like it's got tension? It's got rhythms. Just imagining you're playing a video game and this is the soundtrack. Perfect, that's amazing. Now we haven't experimented with different instruments very much. So let's explore what sounds we have to work with. We have a piano. All right, let's try strings. Why does it feel so right? I don't know. Last but not least, synth. Little mashy. Let's see if we can create some layers by using the program multiple times and see how complex we can get. We have a key, which is nice, but if I have a vertical line in my song, it's gonna sound like this. A horizontal line with a little bit of motion to it. Still a bit, you know. Now we're starting to get stuff that sounds cooler, but it's not looking like anything. And that is the challenge of this video. I wanna find something 
that can serve two purposes here. An artwork that you can hang on a wall or that could go in a gallery, but that you can also listen to and not hate. <laughs> That's the hard bit. So let's go to the max here. We're gonna do 16 full bars. So we're gonna fill all of this to the video game level. Let's pick a sound first. Ooh, that's sort of fun. So I'm sort of figuring it out as I'm going. I'm gonna, gonna figure out the visuals and the music at the same time. It's going to be good, trust me. <laughs> Whatever I'm making here has to be like the the foundation of the whole thing, meaning sort of like the background back bit of the pixel art of a video game level. The mountains, the water, and all of that. No, did I lose my song? I clicked about, then I clicked back. Okay, still there. <gasps> I have finished my first layer. I'm gonna show you the song that I just did, but I'm gonna show you it as I show the time-lapse of me creating the artwork for it. I've created this artwork to represent what I had in mind. I feel like this is starting to come together. As you can see, I took that silhouette and uh, turned it into mountains instead. So it's a nice lighthearted opening. And we build up to the drama. This is where the boss battle will be. And then we get to the end of the song. So we've got our musical notes as part of the artwork now, which is combining the two nicely. I feel like we need a, a synthesized melody. I'm going for lighter and lighthearted at the start. It's looking a little bit empty up here. So this is what this is how I'm gonna add to it. I'm filling in the details with more music slash visuals. This is gonna be like clouds in the background. <laughs> so this is what I got so far for the clouds. Now I love that so far because it feels like a bit of a melody. It certainly feels like a little journey in a video game. I had no idea what I was doing here, but I feel like this is just gonna be some big chaotic drop things, but it's not meant to sound pretty because we're heading down to the boss battle. So that's okay. So I think sort of in the middle here, we can have like fireballs. They'll fill the visuals of this empty space in here and will complement hopefully the rhythm that we've started to establish. Oh God, there's a lot to think about to make this work. <laughs> I think I've got it in place where it's going to do what I need it to do. I think that's it. I think that's it. <laughs> oh my God. Now I gotta make an artwork out. <laughs> that's it, that's the two layers. So that's our previous layer. Now we've got some clouds, we've got some fireballs and a little bit more syncopation and melody. <laughs> I'm certainly glad I went in this direction rather than trying to make an actual artwork. I mean, this is an actual artwork, but you know, like pixel art, cause it wouldn't have sounded good and it wouldn't have looked good. <laughs> So over here we have the clouds in that part of the melody. That fills it out, that looks pretty nice. And then over here we have the fireballs and uh, the moment of defeat. But otherwise, uh, that's sort of it. I've just sort of laid those in and that's filled out pretty much all of the scene, leaving only the main characters. I think this is as far as <laughs> Google browser music maker thing is gonna get us. So I've got a song now, but I might be able to make some cool chords with this thing. And I bring my song in here as a reference Reference, and I'll see if I can find some cool chords that I can lay in that will represent the characters and I'll draw the characters around those chords. Maybe, oh, oh, maybe the way the characters work is their chord plays on loop for as long as they're visible on the screen. All right, let's start off with our hero's silhouette. 
We've got something up here. We've got something here and there and there. There's something back there and there. Front leg and back leg. Oh, wait, wait. This is the arm coming down here. And I feel like the torso is all the way up here. So this is then the silhouette that I'm going to work around to create an illustration of my hero. And then last but not least, the villain. What do I make of that? I mean, if this were literally pixels, it would be boop, 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 boop. <laughs> uh... I guess that's the reference for the villain. Okay, I'm back and it's time to put all of this together. Let's rewind a little bit. This is the theme sound of our hero character. And so I used the position of those notes to roughly create a pixel uh, representation, which I used as a silhouette to sketch my character. And as you can tell, he is a bit of a musician and he's got a treble clef on his chest. And then we have our uh, bad guy. No, 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 different bad guy, this, this bad guy. And again, I created a pixel representation <laughs> of the bad guy. Now there are far fewer pixels as a really basic silhouette to work around, but I still use that as the general shape to create my sketch from. And this is the bad guy. Wrong bad guy, this bad, this, there we go. Okay. <laughs> and anywhere that the hero character or the villain is visible, their chord will be on loop. And my editor Gareth has put it all together for me to experience for the first time with you all put together. I am actually really excited about this. For this version, we've got the all of the original notes loud and clear so you can super clearly see where all the notes are that are playing and how they are constructed into the silhouette. <laughs> Look at him run along. There's the music man climbing the hill. Love it, love it. Where's the drop? Where's the drop? Ah, oh, it's the bass man! <laughs> sound effects oh my god this pixel fireworks and everything and that's a catchy as hell song guys I didn't think we'd be able to do it, but we did it. When I say we did it, I think th the truth I discovered through this process is that I could either be really rigid and have the art exactly pixel perfect be the music and have a bad song and bad art, or I could be a little loose out like I have been, layer it up a bit and find a nice middle ground where we can get pixels that loosely silhouette and come together to create a little bit more of a, a fluid interpretation of the artwork. And I think that's a pretty cool way to pull it off because it's come together really well. I'm gonna play it one more time cleanly without my big dumb face and voice over it so you can soak in the whole thing to its fullness. And maybe we'll add a little bit of polish and pizzazz to make it a little extra special for you. So there we have it, people. Art plus music, it can be done. Probably shouldn't regularly, 
but it was fun today. And if you want to be as cool as this, well, I mean, he's pretty cool. But look at this guy, he's pretty cool too with his headphones. If you want to be as cool as him. All you have to do to be in the running to win is to leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the video. Make sure you're a subscriber to this channel. And that's it. That's, that's all you have to do to be in the running. I sincerely hope you have had a blast with this video. It was a challenge but we came out on top and I think it was just a lot of fun with a really cool result. So once again, let me know what you think down below. Like and subscribe and all that good stuff, but otherwise there are more videos over there. You're bound to enjoy if you enjoyed this one. That is it for now though. We tackled a big problem, we had a big outcome. Thanks for watching and until next time, I'll see you later.